top of stories making headlines around the world this Tuesday. The nation's top public health officials appeared on camera today to receive Moderna's coronavirus vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Health and Human Service Secretary Alex Azar, and National Institutes of Health Director Dr. Francis Collins all got the shot. So Dr. Much. Fauci says he's optimistic about the vaccine. As important or more important is as a symbol to the rest of the country that I feel extreme confidence in the safety and the efficacy of this vaccine. And I want to encourage everyone who has the opportunity to get vaccinated so that we could have a veil of protection over this country that would end this pandemic. Dr. Fauci turns 80 on Christmas Eve, so he is both a frontline medical worker and in that older age group. The second dose of the vaccine will be administered in 28 days. Now, you saw it here on Local 4, President-elect Joe Biden addressing the nation ahead of the Christmas holiday with Congress striking a deal on a coronavirus aid bill. Biden says it is a step in the right direction, but more needs to be done. This bill is just the first step, a down payment in addressing the crisis the crises, more than one, that we're in. There's a lot more work to do. Early next year, I'm going to put forward to the Congress my plans for what comes next. We'll need more help to fully distribute the vaccine. We're going to need more testing in order to be able to open our schools. We need more funding to help firefighters. And we'll hear more from the president-elect coming up at 5. It's official 2020 was the deadliest year in U.S. history, and that's mainly due to the coronavirus pandemic, with the death toll reaching nearly 320,000 and counting. We won't have final mortality data for the year for months, but preliminary data does show the U.S. is on track to have more than 3.2 million deaths this year, at least 400,000 more than in 2019. That would be the biggest single year increase since 1918.